Yeah, I do really well. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. What's the time at your place? Yeah, so I'm from England uh, and it is quarter past 10. So 10.15 in the moment. 10.15 in the morning, right? Yeah, that's right. Yeah, so it's yeah. still early. And I am in India and it is exactly quarter past three here. Oh, okay. All right. So, mm-hmm. oh, it's uh, nearly dinner time. Time for your food. Oh, it's lunch time. For oh, us, it is lunch time now. Ah, okay. It's, I see. it's afternoon for us. Ah, I, of course, of course. So you ha- have late lunch, late lunch. <laughs> yeah, lunch, and then maybe at eight or nine o'clock in the evening. Goodness. For dinner time. Yeah. What about you? What are your timings? So I normally have my lunch about 12, 12, mm-hmm. so midday. And then my my dinner time is normally about 5. five it's so, so early. It's so early. That's late. That's early. late for me. Yeah, it's late. <laughs> you know, in India, we, there is a sect. But there, now it has become a religion that is called Jainism. They believe in extreme nonviolence and uh, they are vegans. And they eat at this time of the day, at 5 o'clock or 5.30, before the sunset. Yeah. Because in India, unlike European countries, uh, the sun sets at around 6, between 6 and 6.30. And I know in your country, uh, during summer, it sets at uh, 10 o'clock. Yeah. But you're right, yeah. So sometimes the in, in the summer months, um, the, the sun will set about 10 about 10 at night so yeah by the time you're just getting into bed the sky is still a little bit light mm, but yeah. in the winter months in the winter months the, uh, the, the days are really really very short i know it is That's right. but uh just i want to ask you one question sure. that is don't you feel uh a bit tired during summer because having 14 hours 15 hours long day doesn't make you a little bit exhausted no i find in the winter months actually it's it's more exhausting because you don't get enough of the like the vitamin uh, from the sun ah, uh, okay. your your skin doesn't absorb enough and often there's a lot of sort of it's called seasonal depression where you people uh, people feel very deflated and unwell during the winter months. Uh, in England, okay, yeah. okay, okay, that is that's the problem. Mm-hmm. I never thought about that problem yeah. because for us winter is like you know, eat well, get healthy, gain your weight, all those things. Because it is not that harsh in India. Mm-hmm. It's not yeah. that harsh. Yeah. yeah. But yeah, summer is really very harsh. Yeah. See, that's the thing is uh, we sort of have complete opposite uh weather systems i suppose yeah yeah but one thing is common one thing is common that's the language yeah yeah of course (laughs) (laughs) yeah but i've all i have always wanted to 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 visit but i um you know it's about it's about money i can't uh, afford plane tickets oh uh, come on the english person is saying that you can't afford coming to india because of money unbelievable come on no, uh, I. It's it's true. We're, honestly, the the cost of living in England at the moment is 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 almost doubled. <laughs> doubled. After tripled. COVID, is that after COVID? It's it's partially due uh, to the war. You know the the Russia ah, Ukraine, Ukraine war. Russia war. Yeah. yeah. That, how is it exactly affecting? So any idea? Yeah, so Russia was used to like export a lot of uh, oil and mm-hmm. gases natural gases mm-hmm. to mm-hmm. a lot of europe um but we never bought from russia we bought from other places but now mm-hmm. the rest of europe are also going to these other places now to get these mm. gases and oils so our costs have gone whew, through the roof mm, yeah yeah yeah, yeah. So, because when the oil prices go up everything else becomes expensive i know i know same is happening here you know the cost of food has gone very high, you know, in India, even in India, the middle, middle class people and the poor people can't, can't afford, really can't afford good meal, good food, nutritious food or fruit. No. Yeah. Really difficult. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it, it's really awful. A lot of people are suffering. Yeah. So, yeah, it's, it's something that really does need to be you know, addressed by, by governments more because even my, my government, they're not, they're not paying enough attention to 
the cost of living because they're they're all rich people anyway so it doesn't matter to, to this is this is what always happens the rich become rich and the poor become poorer you know who is the prime minister so currently it's still boris johnson but he won't be he won't be prime minister anymore uh coming october i think yeah there'll be a new one Oh, is he if i'm not wrong he is from the conservative party right he That's represents right, yeah. the conservative party and the republic party or democratic party which one is there um yes yeah, so we don't really have, we don't really have one of those i don't think uh, america america uses the republic uh, and and democratic, democratic. so yeah. what do you use vegan you, tory still yeah. yeah we use conservatives and labor there that's, that's our We're, yeah so we have conservative and labor and then in the middle we have another one which is the liberal democrats so they're sort liberal of like democrats. they're sort of a little bit of both yeah yeah do you think that if the new government comes in the other party is going to take the office will they bring any change in your country i hope so i hope so we definitely need more socialism at the moment um mm-hmm. because no capitalism yeah. Uh, uh less capitalism definitely because that's that's the that's what the problem is right now you know mm-hmm. these greedy companies are sort of taking and taking and taking but we need more like a socialist lead at the moment to mm-hmm. decrease mm-hmm. the prices um but yeah capitalists they they love it <laughs> they can't get enough of that is yeah but adam i have a question what's the difference no. between socialism and communism communism Ah so communism is the is sort of the belief that you know everyone should be exactly equal in terms of financially and politically so mm-hmm. so yeah if socialism is sort of the so it's like here's is the middle and then you got socialism and then you've got communism so it's quite far left mm-hmm. it's quite an extreme okay. belief so yeah. we can say it is the mild version of sorry so it is the mild version of uh, communism socialism is a mild version yeah, of communism it's, it's extre- like yeah that? extremely mild extremely yeah, mild it's, it's like extreme. yeah so you sort of have like communism socialism in the middle and then you have the capitalism and then you sort mm-hmm. of have like fascism on the other side so it, the, the, those are the extremes yeah they're yeah, the very extreme, the extreme far left yeah. communism far right. and fascism yeah they are the extremes Oh my goodness. Okay, okay. Yeah. So, uh if the new government comes in, uh you are uh, really hoping for seeing the changes, positive changes. Yeah. And absolutely. what about the right-wing politics? Does it dominate your country? Uh it it did for a little while as in conservatives, but the popular opinion has changed recently after after seeing how they've handled sort of COVID, seeing how they've handled obviously we left the European Union. see mm-hmm. how they do that and now this the cost of living on top yeah popular opinion has has changed and it looks like the socialism is is coming back into the mainstream oh, yeah. yeah so yeah fingers crossed <laughs> you know <laughs> <Good> to hear <laughs> <laughs>